everybody. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Well, welcome. Let's see if we can do some warm-ups. I'm going to tell you to do something. You can do it forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. Okay, I want you to start with wiggle your finger. You can wiggle your finger forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I want you to wiggle your finger and pull on your earlobe. Here's your ear, your earlobe. Okay, one, two, three, go. You can do it and do it and do it until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I'm gonna make it even harder. I'm gonna ask you to wiggle your finger, pull on your ear, and click your tongue like this. Are you ready? Wiggle your finger, pull in, go. Freeze. If you stop, you really are a good listener. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, they're in my lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Very good. Can you do it faster? Let's see if we can do it faster. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth but do not let them in. I wonder, can you do it faster? Let's see, take a deep breath. You ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. I am here again in my dress and my apron and I'm going to come close closer so you can see my tummy. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm a little <clears throat> hay fevered. I know an old lady who swallowed a flower. It took an hour to swallow that flower. Her tummy was sour. I know an old lady who swallowed a leaf. Good grief, she swallowed a leaf. She swallowed the leaf after she swallowed the flower. Her tummy was sour. I know an old lady who swallowed a plant. Boy, did she rant when she swallowed that plant. She swallowed the plant after she swallowed the leaf. Swallowed the leaf after she swallowed the flower. Her tummy was sour. I know an old lady who swallowed a bush. It went down with a big, loud whoosh. She swallowed a bush if she swallowed the plant, swallowed the plant if she swallowed the leaf, swallowed the leaf if she swallowed the flower. Her tummy was sour. I know an old lady who swallowed a thistle. When she swallowed that thistle, it went down like a missile. She swallowed the thistle, she swallowed the bush, swallowed the bush if she swallowed the plant, swallowed the plant if she swallowed the leaf, swallowed the leaf if she swallowed the flower. Her tummy was sour. <clears throat> I know an old lady who swallowed a whole tree. How could that be that she swallowed that tree? She swallowed the tree if she swallowed the thistle, swallowed the thistle if she swallowed the bush, swallowed the bush if she swallowed the plant, swallowed the plant if she swallowed the leaf, swallowed the leaf if she swallowed the flower. Her tummy was sour. Ooh, burp. Okay, <clears throat> I'm taking off my apron, and I'm gonna read you a book that appeared in my little library called Maple. And it is a book that um, is a part of Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. It's by Lori Nichols, Maple. 
<clears throat> Maple loved her name. <clears throat> when she was still a whisper, her parents planted a tiny tree in her honor. And even though Flavia, Millie Jane, Lena, Lily, and Constance were all good names, Maple was a perfect fit. <clears throat> As Maple grew, so did her tree. Sometimes when Maple was noisy, which was a lot, her parents sent her outside to play. Her tree didn't mind if she was loud. Maple would sing to her tree and sway for her tree and sometimes even pretend to be a tree. <clears throat> On some days when the wind was just right, Maple would simply lie under her tree and its leaves would dance just for her. Then one day, Maple noticed her tree was bare. Maple was worried her tree might get cold. So Maple took off her jacket <clears throat> and gave it to the tree to stay warm. Sometimes Maple wished she had someone else to play with. The tree wasn't very good at throwing snowballs. She wondered if the tree felt the same way. Did the tree feel lonely and want a friend? <clears throat> so Maple introduced her tree to a friend. That friendship didn't last. But Maple and her tree still had each other. <clears throat> Through winter and spring, then one day, something surprisingly happened. then something really surprising happened. Maple became a big sister. Maple tried to be a good big sister. baby was cold, Maple gave the baby her hat and gloves. If the baby was lonely, Maple would share her special friends. But Maple couldn't always make the baby happy. And when the baby was noisy, which was a lot, Maple would take her outside to play. And something magical happened. Is that baby crying? Not anymore. Maple's tree danced for them both.
and there was just enough room under the tree for Maple and her little sister, her little sister, Willow. <clears throat> well, we're going to do our frogs again. I have five frogs. Now let's see if we can count them. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. It's a little bright on there. I'm going to see if I can get a little closer. Five little frogs sitting on a lily pad. The first one said, it's spring and I am glad. The second one said, I'm so happy I could croak. Croak meaning in making a noise in its throat. The third one said, is that a joke? The fourth one said, well then let's get hopping. And the fifth one said, we're going to do a lot of flipping and flopping. I have noticed something in my house at this time. There are a lot of ladybugs. They look like this in a certain way. Ladybug, ladybug, quiet as a mouse. Ladybug, ladybug, all over the house. Ladybug, ladybug, there are lots more. How do you get in by some little ladybug door? For every 10 I shoo out, there are 20 more. And that, my friend, I cannot ignore. I have five little friends with me here today. Five little friends having fun, playing outside in the bright and shiny sun. One little buddy slipped on the floor. He ran home, and then there were four. Four little friends having fun, playing outside in the bright and shiny sun. One little buddy fell out of the tree. She went home. And then there were three. Three little friends having fun, playing outside in the bright and shiny sun. One little buddy feeling quite blue. She went home and then there were two. Two little friends having fun, playing outside in the bright and shiny sun. One little buddy was on the run he went home, and then there was one. One little friend having fun, playing outside in the bright and shiny sun. One little buddy knew the day was done. She went home, and then there were none. We're going to do gunk gunk with the little green frog one day. Now you can go gunk gunk, or if you're really good, you can go gunk gunk. <laughs> but we're going to act out the parts, and it's going to go like this. Um, the, the frog jumps up and down. His legs go jump, jump, jump. And so you can jump um, on the ground or in your, up and down in your chair. The frog's knees go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And so you can wiggle your knees together. And his arms go round, round, round. And his eyes go blink, blink, blink. Okay? So the, the legs go jump, jump, jump. The uh, knees go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The arms go round, round, round. And the eyes go blink, blink, blink. All righty? Okay. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. And his legs went jump, jump, jump. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. And his knees went wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. And his arms went round, round, round. 
Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog. Gunk, gunk, went the little green frog one day. And his eyes went blink, blink, blink. Okay. I have this neat thing with me. And it's called Spring. Hello, Spring. And it has this neat little pinwheel and it goes... Okay, so here's my spring poem. Ah, the wonder of spring. The signs are there. Flowers, green grass, budding trees are waiting to share. But wait, ladybugs, mosquitoes, buzzing bees, and whizzing flies. Ah, the wonder of spring. Here come the insects, everyone cries. Okay, one more time. All right. Okay. Shall we do Mrs. Wishy Washy? Yep. Okay, for those of you who have never done Mrs. Wishy Washy, we're going to act out the parts to Mrs. Wishy Washy. And how you know Mrs. Wishy Washy is we're going to put her hands on her hips, and then she puts her hand to her brow, her forehead, and then she points. And there are three animals in the book. There is a cow, and the cow jumps in the mud. There is a pig, and the pig rolls in the mud. And then there is a duck, and the duck paddles in the mud. But the best part of all is when they get washed, and you see just like a washing machine, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Okay, you got your parts? This is Mrs. W Wishy Washy by Joy Cowley. You ready? And you can, you can read along with me since we've been doing it for so long. Oh, lovely mud, said the cow. And she jumped in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the pig, and he rolled in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the duck, and she paddled in it. Are you paddling? Okay, let's get ready. Hands on her hips. Along came Mrs. Wishy Washy. Just look at you, she screamed. Now she's going to point. In the tub you go. In went the cow. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. In went the pig. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. In went the duck, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Okay, get ready, put your hands on your hips because here comes Mrs. Wishy-washy. That's better, said Mrs. Wishy-washy, and she went into the house. Away went the cow, away went the pig, away went the duck. All right, we can say, oh, lovely mud, really loudly, unless there's a baby sleeping in your house or an adult that needs some sleep. Oh, lovely mud, they said. The itsy-bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out, out. Came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's see if we can uh, find the spider. I have a, a little spider with me, but he's kind of funny. Sometimes he doesn't like to come out and play. And other times he does, but you know, I'm going to see if I can find him here. Oh, a spider, spider, spider. Come out. 
Uh oh. He's hiding. He's inside there. He's hiding. How do we get him to come out? Well, how about on the count of three we say, Oh, spider, come out. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. <gasps> I see an eye, but he's still not out. Oh, dear, what do we do? Maybe we were too loud. Do you think we were too loud? All right, let's whisper. At the count of three, go, oh, spider, come out. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. I see his eye, but he still won't come out. How are we ever going to make him come out? Hmm? Well, let's see. We did it loud, and we did it whisper. Oh, I know. Let's use the magic word. We can kind of whisper because I think we scared him the first time. We're just to say, one, two, three, oh, spider, come out, please. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, oh, spider, come out, please. Huh? There he is. There he is. Huh? We did it. Okay, I'm going to sing a song, and I want you to sing just what I sang after me, like an echo. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Very, very busy, very, very busy, spinning my web, spinning my web. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Story hour is over, story hour is over, see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.